Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some really cute Minecraft mods. These are very simple, very cute, add new additions, new blocks, new creatures that you really should check out. A lot of them are vanilla friendly too. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not already and let's get right into this video. First, we have colored bricks mod. This adds all these different colored bricks and variants you craft from using regular bricks and you can dye the regular bricks to get all these colored bricks. They're so pretty and look really good within the game. The texture that some of them have and there is a couple different variants too. So up next we have the Amazing Ape mod. Now this is a super adorable mod that adds some monkeys and apes to the game. As you can see all the different variants here. It is a spin-off of Monkey Madness created by MC Creator. So props to this creator is MC Creator. Next we have Bessera Teleporter. And now this adds this block here. You can craft using ender pearls, gold and glass and coal. Place it down. You can craft a coordinator piece of paper. So you go, place it down, go wherever you would like, take the paper that saves the coordinates and then right click on the block with it and it will add the coordinates. You can even type in your own coordinates, click save and then click teleport and it will teleport you. Next we have Animals Plus. Now this is a mod that adds a couple new animals to the game, such as these animals here. We have red pandas, I think those are raccoons, zebras, some other types of animals. It adds boars, bears, as well as armor too from all the creatures, all the leather. It also adds a couple tools, the sphere here, as well as a slingshot. All the meat from all the different animals, and as you can see to the side, here is all the leathers and all the armors. We have bricks and blocks. This adds over 1,500 new blocks to the game. They are all craftable and some require a stone cutter. As you can see the blocks here, they're really pretty. And there is 21 different pages on GEI of all the different blocks you can get. Coloured cobblestone, coloured bricks, it even adds a few ores, which are really pretty colours. And also a few furniture pieces, like subterranean wildness. And now this adds an update to the caves by making them look by a more biome specific. This is the plains, it adds loads of different types of blocks in here to make them a little bit more fun. It even adds puzzles of water. This looks really good. Next we have Better Foliage Renewed and this adds all these different enhancements to the game such as bushier leaves, better cat and better grass. We have craftable name tags and this just lets you craft a name tag. It's pretty simple and pretty useful so you don't have to go into dungeons to find them. Lanterns Plus and now this aims to add many more lanterns to Minecraft that are themed around biomes and dimensions. You can place them on the floor, ceiling, wall or even underwater. It contains 11 lanterns, as you can see most of them here. All the recipes can be found on JEI, which is another mod which lets you show recipes. As you can see, they're pretty simple to craft, pretty straightforward. Up next, we have McCaw's Paintings, and this is a mod that adds loads of different types of paintings, which do fit in with vanilla. They are very pretty, very unique, very cool. The random loot mod, and now this rewards you for killing animals and creatures. As you can see here, killing these zombies has rewarded me with two loot crates. You open them and you get a complete random weapon with perks that you can level up. It includes armor and there's three different tiers of loots. Ominous backpacks, which adds backpacks. I love backpack mods that actually let you visualize the backpack on your back. It adds an ender backpack, another right backpack and the original backpack. They are all dyeable too by adding a die. You can place them on your back, place them down. Pull backpack mod with a simple recipe. Customizable with data pack. Next we have the Minecraft mod chip. This is a new mod that is kind of inspired by chisel. It adds these workstations, which they models are so cool. Botanist's workbench. You basically can put hay or vines in here and it'll give you loads of different types that you can get from it. There's a glass blower table, you put glass in and it gives you all the different diff different types of glass you can craft with them. There is a wooden one that lets you change the texture of all the different planks. This works for all the different colored planks. We have the loom, which works for wool and carpet. As you can see, it all has different patterns. Stripes, squared, anything you could need really. It just looks so cool and pretty. 
And this is the mason's table, which lets you do cobblestone, stone, sandstone, all the different types of stone, and even including terracotta, which is really cool. The recipes are pretty simple. It's kind of just like a stone cutter, but the models are amazing. We have buddies of babies, and this adds more buddies to the game with unique items. Toads, tortoises, geckos. You can capture them as well with the net that it adds. This creature here, which is Savannah, which is really cute backstory you can see on the page. Here is the net, you can capture them, have them in your inventory, and then you can place them back down. Next we have lush biomes. Now this adds some new plants to the game for the plains. Here, as you can see, the flowers. It's just very simple, very cute flower mod. It adds little bushes. Next up we have, it's called artificial foliage, and this makes it so you can craft any type of biome color grass and grass block to the game. You get these pigments, which you get from tall grass or just grass and it lets you craft them into any color biome block you would like. So you can like mix and merge, create some texture, adds slabs, it adds leaf carpets, all the different types of grass, all the different colored sugar canes that you can do. Actually it'd be really good if you wanted to live in a desert and you didn't like the color of the grass, you could change it with this. If you had a grassy area in a desert where your house would be. Next we have the Mad Vanilla Cookbook and this adds these cakes to the game and a whole bunch of different food items. As you can see here, all the items, it has cooked food that is already in the game, such as melon, it adds juice. All the items are basically used from everything in the game. There is no new crops. It adds cookies. They all have simple recipes and it is a very vanilla friendly food mod if you want a little bit of extra. Sugar crystals, which you can make a lollipop out of. Trail mix, meatballs, sodas potatoes, cooked potatoes, and here are all the cakes and brownies. This mod is called Filtered Chests. Now this is really good for storage. You use it with a um, transport pipe mod and it lets you create a storage system. So in the chest, you can add a blacklist or a whitelist of what you want to go into that chest if you're using hoppers and pipes. The recipe is pretty simple. It's a really good storage mod if you would like to do automation storage. That's it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed this, if you have, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and follow my socials, my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I am going to be trying getting back into making videos more often. A lot has been going on. I have a Discord in the description, and you can see any updates and information that I have in there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.